drive was okay. Manual two. Manual two, closed, open, closed. Yeah, we're gonna have issues with manual two. Something going on in neutral, something going on in reverse because we're out of whack here. The digital transmission range sensor. This finely crafted piece of plastic is sometimes referred to as the neutral safety switch. It does much more than that. It can screw things up with your computer much more than a neutral safety switch ever could. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works, what it does, how to test it, and what it looks like when it's going bad. This is just a mock-up. Uh, it's an empty case other than what you see here, and then the, the detent is bolted inside so I can shift through the positions. When I'm getting ready to take delivery on a customer's core, I always tell them to leave the, detent, the DTR alone. The reason for that is they get a lot of corrosion around here and they get stuck on there and you get people in there, start prying them off and they start cracking them and breaking them. And they wind up looking like this one. So you can see here, it's cracked. The O-ring's popping out. So if this were on there, this would be really stiff. You would feel it in the shift lever. It would be really stiff to move this. Uh, not to mention it's gonna leak, obviously. But sometimes, sometimes these O-rings, there's one on each side, sometimes they, they extrude themselves over time. So if you start feeling your shift column your column shifter starts getting stiff. Um, that's when you start need to start checking things out. Check the bushings in the steering column. But also check this out. This could be going bad. It could be coming apart. And once this O-ring starts moving, you start getting crud in there. And then it messes, messes with, with the contacts. It's a slip ring. They call it a slip ring. It's a, like a flat disc with a bunch of curved copper contacts. And then the there's uh, jumpers that get rotated around and different different connections are made depending on the position of uh, of the uh, shift arm. So that's how it works. Um, yeah, this one, somebody's pried on the back here, on a, probably on a previous rebuild. And then this, I'm, my, I'm guessing this O-ring started working its way out. Um, so this one's junk. So how do you test it? Well... There's 12 pins on there, and you, with the book, the book gives you a nice chart, nice table, showing you what the expected result is when you put an ohmmeter across each pair of pins. And those pairs are 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 2 and 5, 2 and 6, 9 and 11, and 10 and 12. Um, so you can go in there with uh, some needles on a, uh, an ohm meter and check each one and then flip this and because you got to check those six connections across all six PRND21 positions. So I made a gizmo here that does all this for me pretty much, makes it real easy. I do a lot of this. Anytime I, uh, anytime I build a unit, I test every single DTR before it goes out the door. I make sure I've calibrated it. There's two little hairlines here. So when you put this thing neutral, so that's park, reverse, in neutral, the two hairlines should be lined up. Um, in this case, they are. So I'm going to show you how I test them, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when this is out of whack. So my gizmo, all I do is I plug it in snap it um, it runs on a battery there's my power switch so I got my table here showing me my expected results and a rotary knob on the side which is going to connect all of my all of my pins so I'm in neutral so let's start in park so I'm in two three in park two three two four two five going down this column here so that is expected to be closed which it is zero is closed on this meter one is open um, so we're gonna flip through now we're gonna connect two and four that should also be closed two and five that should also be closed two and six closed nine and eleven should be open that's open and ten and twelve should be closed now I'm gonna flip it to reverse 
I'm gonna go backwards. I'm already at 1012, so this one should be open, which it is. 911, closed. Two and six, open. Two and five, closed. Two and four, closed. And now two and three, there's a resistor in there. 270 ohms, and I got it. Neutral. Pin two and three, again, should be 270 on that resistor. Two four should be closed. Two five should be open. 2.6 should be closed, 9 and 11 should be open, 10 and 12 should be closed. We got a drive. Drive, these should all be open except for 2.3. So open, 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 and now 2.3 should be 270. And it is. Manual 2. This should be closed. 2.4 should be open, 2.5 should be closed, and the rest should be open, open, and open. Manual 1, open, 9.11 open, 2 and 6 closed, 2 and 5 open, 2 and 4 open, 2 and 3 closed. So this one's good to go. Um, it's a Ford, it's a Motorcraft one, so this one's definitely reusable. I always go with motorcrafts when I have one. If I'm out, I may have no choice but to buy a brand new one. But when they're brand new, they, they tend to last a long time. It's really just a matter of this these O-rings holding up, keeping uh, moisture and oil and water and everything out of that out of that switch that's inside. So we know this one's good. It's adjusted properly. It's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to disconnect this and I'm going to readjust it so that it's wrong and we'll take a look and see what happens. All right, so I adjusted it. So now those uh, those two hairlines, those two neutral hairlines are not lined up. So let's see what happens. Uh, back in park again. So we're just gonna do exactly what we did before. So here's two, three. That should be closed, it's closed. Two, four, closed. Two, five, closed. Two, six, closed. Nine, 11, open. 10 and 12, closed. Go to reverse. That's 10 and 12, that's open. So here's a failure. I'm in nine and 11. Nine and 11 should be closed in reverse and it is not, it is open. Two six should be open, two five should be open. I'm sorry, two five should be closed. Two five should be closed. Two four closed, two three, 270. So going back to, so here's 10, 12 in reverse, that's open, that's correct. 9, 11 in reverse is open, that is incorrect, it should be closed. So let's go to neutral. 2, 3 should be 270. 2, 4 should be closed. 2, 5 should be open. 2, 6 should be closed. 9, 11 open. 10 and 12 closed. So here's another problem. Neutral, 10 and 12 should be closed, it's open. So we've gotten, we've got problems here so far with pins nine and 11 and pins 10 and 12 being out of whack here. So let's go to, here's drive. Now we're back on two three, so that should be 270 following my chart. Next one should be open, the rest should be open. And they are, the drive is okay. So reverse and neutral are bad. Manual two. Manual two, uh, this should be closed. Two three is closed, two four open. Two five should be closed, but it's open. Manual two here. Two six is open. 9, 11 open, 10 and 12 open. So now we're in uh, manual one. Two, three should be closed, it is. Two, four open, two, five open. Two, six closed. 9, 11 open, 10 and 12 open. So going back, our problems were reverse.
9-11 is open when it should be closed. And then neutral. Closed, open, closed, open, open. So reverse and neutral have two open that should be closed. And wasn't there uh, drive was okay. Manual two. Manual two, closed, open, closed. Yeah. We're going to have issues with manual two. Something going on in neutral. Something going on in reverse. Because we're out of whack here. I don't know what they are off the top of my head. But we're going to have issues there. So it didn't take much. Park, reverse. Ooh. There's neutral. We are like hardly off. I'm going to zoom in. So if you take a look here, look at this close up. This is how off we are on those hairlines. We're barely off. Um, that's all it takes to throw this completely out of whack. And it, if I go the other way, it's probably going to be worse. So that's why these little hairlines, they got to be perfect. Your DTR cannot have any extruded, exposed O-rings. It shouldn't look like this. It shouldn't be all chopped up. Um, so measure them. You can do that, like I said, with any kind of ohm meter with long needle tips. You don't need this. I mean, I, I only had this because I do it all the time. Um, but that's why you want to check this. So there you have it. That's what you want to look out for. You got to make sure this hair, these two hairlines are lined up. If they're not even, if they're off even the slightest, you're going to have problems.